What's up, YouTubers? It's Felicia, and today I'm going to be showing you how I get my four braids on wet hair. So we already started. I try to, I'll try to make this quick. Um, it is on freshly washed hair, and I did use the leave-in conditioner by Garnier Futis for curl nourishment. And so here, you just part it down the middle, and then you part it down the middle again for one side to get those braids. My hair is pretty, pretty tangled. And the reason why I do this on wet hair is because it's easier for me because my hair is really hard to detangle. And it seems like when I get out the shower, the water just absorbs so fast. So doing this on drenched hair with leave-in conditioner just allows my hair to stay detangled longer and I'm able to braid through it. So I do try to scrunch out excess water and product just in uh, case because the braids will take longer to dry and I don't want to have wet hair for like four days. So I use my baby hair brush to slick it down and then I just, just take a small piece in the front and I get to braiding. I don't really braid my braids too tight for one because I can't stand when my hair is pulled really tight and two it's not a style that I'm trying to keep for a long time. It's just a couple days. Sometimes I'll even push it a week because I just don't ever feel like doing my hair with my schedule. And it's great when I go to the gym. If it's messed up, I can just put a cap over it or I can just wear it as is. I really don't care how I look because, you know, I've been in the gym working out. So I don't care what's going on. So yeah, I just tend to have to comb through my hair um, as I go because my hair does seem to tangled up like my hair is not that soft silky fine hair that just is easily manageable my hair is really hard to deal with and it's actually annoying so that's why a lot of times I do do these four braids or two braids because I just can't stand having to keep trying to detangle my hair and then my wash and goes just don't last as long because my hair just I think it's stupid it doesn't listen to me so yeah we got one done and then we keep going and you do the other one and this video is not to show you how to braid because as you can see I do braid differently like I had my friend watch this video and she's like why do you do your fingers like that so don't use this video to try to learn how to braid I did speed it up because that's not what this is about and using my method your fingers will hurt because I my fingers do get strained by the time I'm done with my hair with only four. So it's really important to really learn technique. This is just how I was taught to braid and it's really hard trying to get out of it. But to, um, when I do take time to do my hair neater or do feed in, like I can still do it and look like everyone else's, but the way I do it, it just doesn't work that well with my, my fingers. So we got half of it done and then you just continue to the other side this side of my hair has more hair than the other side and I know a lot of us have different types of hair on both sides or different types of um, volume on both sides but this side of my hair was like really thicker in the front than the other side so these braids are always hard to make even for me because my hair is just so different all over my head so you wrap it up and then you braid again I love how my hair just looks so silky and you know like you got that good stuff but you know when it dry it'd be like oh, no. and this side of my hair I actually can braid better than the other side so this is the let me try to think I'm turning this way this is the left side of my head and this side I can always braid tighter I can get uh, more um, neater look with it for some reason but all of us have this where one side always comes out better than the other and that's just what everything from hair to your body everything's just different it's looking okay except I look you know dry this is really late at night too it's probably like 10 maybe even 11, but I just wanted to do this because I didn't want to do my hair for the rest of the week. And I brush it and I put the stuff in there. And then what is that? 
This is what happens when you have curly hair and you wear afro. Stuff just get in there and you don't know where it came from. That was from me sitting under a tree and the little particles were falling out and look, I found some as I washed my hair as well, but I thought it was all gone, but I guess not. They were making themselves a home up in there. So this braid is a little thicker because it's more hair, the hair is thicker. And then this right there, that section in my hair is actually harder to manage. It gets tangled more. That part doesn't really curl in general and it's just the devil, the devil part of the hair because it just, it just don't want to listen. So now that I have all four of my braids done, I do wrap my hair in a ponytail and I use this brush that's really, really soft on one side. It's really, really hard on the other side, but I use the soft side for my baby hairs to pull them out. I like to do baby hairs with this style because I don't feel like I look right with just all my hairs pushed back. I look like a little boy and it just gives me some life a little bit with the little baby hair. So I did use the Ozzy Moist Leave-In um, Insurance Spray and then I use some Lotta Body Moisturizing Lotion. And I use these products when my hair is wet because the baby hair is managed easier that way and they've already had conditioner, they're freshly washed and everything's good. So this is the final look and as you can see, it's pretty simple, pretty easy. Something to do when you don't feel like doing your hair. I hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in my next one.